Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me on another video. So you guys know that I recently did a fragrance declutter. There's gonna be a part two coming really soon because I actually removed quite a bit of fragrances out of my collection. It was a, it was out of control and then there was a lot of scents that I never used. So I did remove quite a few. I did part one, I will link it over here for you guys to check out and then part two is coming very soon. So since I made room for other fragrances, <laughs> we got a few, okay? new ones within the collection lately and i wanted to share that with you guys so uh i hope you guys enjoyed this video it is a haul video some of these are complete blind buys while others i have already tested out and played around with so um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel okay you keep coming back to watch the video so hit the subscribe button and become a part of the family also turn your post notification on so you know when i upload a new video comment down below chat with me and let's get into it so i'm gonna be honest there haven't been a lot of releases lately that i've been like oh i need that in my life i don't know what's going on with me i've been actually looking at a lot of scents that have been out for a long time because the new releases just are not they're not they're not calling my name quite right let me stop blabbing let me get into this the first one that i'm going to talk about is one that i actually mentioned on my instagram if you are not following me there Go ahead and follow me on my Instagram, okay? Follow me. But this is Chloe Nomad. And this was a 2018 release. And I played around with this for the last two days. <sighs> so here is that box when you do first get Chloe Nomad. This is the 75 uh, mil. And I got this one from Shoppers Drug Mart. If you are in Canada, don't sleep on Shoppers Drug Mart. Their point system is incredible. Here is the really beautiful Chloe Nomad bottle. I believe this is inspired by one of the designer handbags. I forget the name of it. It's really, really popular. And I do like this bottle. It's very elegant. It's just sleek and timeless. Really pretty and feminine. Now the fragrance. I have one question before I smell this. Why aren't more people talking about this fragrance? Because she is a beauty. Oh, oh my gosh, so beautiful. The opening is a little fresh and bright and then it goes to this gorgeous, like almost floral uh, note that has a lot of depth to it. It has a lot of character. It is absolutely stunning. I know that there is like some kind of plum note. There's oak moss in the dry down. There aren't a ton of notes within this fragrance, but it is stunning. Like when you wear this, you feel completely elegant and put together. It's definitely attention grabbing. It's one of those fragrances that projects really well, especially within the first two hours, you will get noticed. It is stunning 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 i definitely will put this up with like my baccarat rouge 540 i have no problem saying that because it's gorgeous and i was really surprised because i do have the original chloe and i have smelled other chloe fragrances and they just are nice they're nice they're pleasing they're very you know floral fresh type of vibe this is on a whole other level Honey, this is, this is elegant. This is niche quality. This is elevated, a fragrance you definitely need in your collection for sure. The next fragrance that I have here was actually gifted to me. I received it this morning in the mail. This is from Atelier Cologne Love Osmanthus. And here's that bottle right here. Not the bottle, the box actually. And it's really pretty. So all of the Atelier Cologne bottles are exactly the same. Um, usually it's just the actual, the label that is a different color. Now this one, I did spray her as soon as I got it in my hand and did wear it today. Oh, yes, yes, gorgeous. Atelier Cologne has this way of really 
putting notes together so beautifully and capturing the name and the essence of a fragrance. This is beautiful. It's very bright and citrusy in the opening. Definitely get like mandarin vibes. But then in the dry down, it becomes a little creamy, warm, spicy, almost incensey, very exotic type of fragrance. I really, really like this one. The more it dries down, the more I like it. It almost, almost gives you like Delina exclusive vibes. You know that creaminess that it has? This fragrance has that in it too. And it is just so pleasing to wear and it smells really really great it doesn't project super loud which is okay but it's just a really nice creamy sensual exotic scent in the dry down really beautiful now let's go on to one that was a complete blind buy which is this one over here this is dolce and gabbana the one edt most of the people that reviewed this on fragrantica said that it was absolutely stunning and actually preferred this over the edp there is the bottle let me just show you guys real quick it's just very classic um, not super sleek. I do find her a little bulky, especially the cap of the bottle, but um, not a lot of craziness going on. So I can live with this, okay? Now, this is the 100 ml. I don't know if they are discontinuing it. There was a sale on this fragrance, so I'm not sure what's going on with that, but I'm just going to go ahead and spray her into the cap. Mmm, okay. Ooh, okay, okay. Let's just, wow. This smells really nice. It's kind of fresh, soapy, clean vibes in the opening, almost like Prada La Femme. Almost like, yeah, it really does remind me of that fragrance. Let me just spray it on my skin and see if I get something else on the skin, but it's really giving me Prada La Femme vibes. Oh, that's good. That is good. It smells really close to Prada La Femme, but this has a little bit more of a fresher rather than a soapy clean vibe. And it's going a little sweeter on my skin. Just a little bit sweeter than Prada La Femme. But honestly, they're very, very similar. Very similar kind of vibe that you're going to get. Fresh, clean, airy. A little sweetness. Classy, elegant. Wow. Okay. I'm so glad I got this one. It smells really great, super, super wearable, everyday appropriate, especially for summertime. I love that kind of fresh, clean vibe. And this, this is definitely giving me that vibe. It is, oh yeah, yeah. It reminds me of Prada La Femme for sure. Like I wanna say 85% but it has a little bit more freshness to her rather than soapy clean vibe, but it's quite elegant. This is a type of fragrance that like, you just love to smell yourself. You just smell put together, clean, classy, elegant, fresh. Like you're not too sweet, you're not too oody, you're not too, you know, whatever. You're just like right there, elegance, clean and fresh. Oh, oh. She's a good one. So the next fragrance that I went ahead and added to my collection is another quite high priced fragrance. Sorry guys. She is a niche brand and this is the first one that I have from this particular brand. And that is Bond Number no. 9 Madison Avenue. This fragrance right here. Okay, so Bond Number no. 9, let's talk about the packaging. I'm not a huge fan of the style of the packaging. It's not something that is timeless and classy. It is very out there and bold and kind of like grabs your attention really fast. So it's not something that I'm blown away by, but you know, it is definitely unique and um, very catchy when it comes to eyeing 
that that is a number nine the bond number nine fragrance for sure so madison avenue i did do a trade so that's how i got her in my hand so that was like an amazing deal because i didn't have to pay the high price point for this this fragrance i've already played around with her <sighs> this fragrance gives me a little bit of parfums de marley delina vibes pink bottle also but the actual scent it gives me a little bit of delina vibes but this one in the opening it's very fresh it has apple bergamot black currant so it's a really fresh fruity opening but then there are floral notes in here that just makes this so stunning i know there's jasmine one of my favorite notes is jasmine there's magnolia in here i think there is rose i'm not 100 percent sure Oh, it smells so good. Has a little bit of a gourmandish touch in the dry down because there is praline in here. Like the notes in here blew me away, told me I needed it. And it's exactly the scent that I get from it is ab absolutely beautiful. Like honestly, I, I, I'm even losing my train of thought here, but <laughs> it's a really beautiful, potent fragrance. A little goes a long way. She lasts beautifully on my skin, which is making me want to try out more Bond Number no. 9 fragrances, uh, but they are very pricey. But the quality of this fragrance is definitely, definitely there. I remember the first time that I got it, I sprayed it right here and I could smell it for hours literally hours it just grabs onto your skin so beautifully and creates magic it's so pretty i really really i really love the scent i could wear her any time of the day for real i don't find her just for evening or just for daytime but she's definitely not a casual scent this is definitely more of a sensual feminine type of fragrance for sure she's absolutely gorgeous i believe they said that this fragrance is supposed to be inspired by like shopping in new york city or madison avenue i don't know something like that but i don't get shopping vibes i get a little bit more sensual feminine date night type of vibes but then again i can definitely see her being a little bit more casual depending on what you are wearing she's gorgeous i love it honestly I really, really like this one. On to two uh, blind buys that got added recently. The first one is My Ladies from Mugler. This is Angel El Cruzuri. I don't even know how to say that, but it's the latest uh, release from Mugler, I believe. And this is the EDT. This is the 50 mil. But here is that bottle gorgeous she's so pretty uh i believe they try to come out with a flanker for angel almost every year or every other year she is a cult favorite i used to wear the original angel in my late teens to my early 20s and it just has so many memories i absolutely love that fragrance it was one of my most memorable fragrances like i said it's gorgeous um i still really like her I do like the EDT a lot better, but this is a newer version that I smelt when it first, first came out, but I honestly don't remember what it smells like anymore, and I didn't try the tester when I got it, so let's give her a try. I'm trying to find a place on my hand where I don't have a ton of perfume. Okay. Oh. Oh my God. Wow this is tropical vibes this is coconutty like coconut water oh my god it's sweet it definitely is sweet there must not be any patchouli because i'm not picking up patchouli if there is it might be very subtle or coming in the dry down but i got citrusy brightness coconut creaminess refreshing this literally smells like you are on a vacation. You are on a beach. Perfect for summertime. Absolutely perfect. Oh my. It doesn't say that there's coconut in it, but this smells very coconutty to me. Very tropical, vacation, beachy, Caribbean vibes. It is 
Oh my gosh, I really, really like it. Like, what? Oh my good. <sighs> that opening is stunning. The opening alone could have been a fragrance in itself because it's very, it's very bright. It's very refreshing, but it has this coconutty vibe to it. And then it starts to dry down a little sweeter. Yeah, a little sweeter, a little grapefruit. You still get a little of this kind of sin sunscreen vibe, but in the most perfect way. Oh my God, that is, that's gorgeous. That is a must have. That is gorgeous. If you love your vacation type of fragrances, All right, guys, that that was stunning. So the last one better be just as amazing as that one. So we have one more to showcase. And this was a complete blind buy. Also, I have seen reviews and they seem really intriguing. So I was like, OK, I, I, need, I need to get my hands on this. So this is by Rido. Bal d'Afric, and this is the EDP. I love the Byredo packaging from the outer box to the actual perfume bottle. I just, something about it is like Instagram worthy. It just looks so gorgeous in pictures and on the vanity, it's classic and timeless. This one, I've heard a lot of hype. I've heard a ton of people saying that it is unique, it's gorgeous, and I couldn't wait to try it out. And I never smelt it but i got my hands on this for an amazing price and i couldn't like pass on it so here she is okay here she is oh that's a really nice atomizer wow that one spray was a lot mm, okay she's fresh and airy in the beginning but there's something unusual about it i am smelling I don't know if it's berries or something like that, like a fruity note, but then there's floral notes in there too. Wow, she's she's a unique one. She's very mysterious and quite unique and unusual, almost like when you start to think about um, Mugler Alien. This is in that realm. It's very very unusual and very hard to describe but she's pretty she's wow wow i need i need her on my skin somewhere just to just to try it out and see how it wears on the skin i literally have no more space and i have a long sleeve top on so hmm yeah, she's quite fresh and airy in the opening. Very like spring and summer appropriate. But quite unusual in the dry down. But I do like her. She's intriguing. She's very mysterious. Has a little of a sensualness to her. But she's not sexy. I have to play around with her some more. But so far, I'm getting very mysterious. A little bit, a little bit... Oh my God, how do I even describe this fragrance? I don't even know how to describe her. She's very unique, different, a little mysterious, has a little bit of a sensuality to her, a little bit of a sensuality to her, but she's fresh and bright, very wearable. This is kind of like an all year, any occasion type of fragrance. But I feel like you would definitely get asked, what are you wearing? Because she's so unusual and different, quite intriguing, that I feel like someone would ask, what is that fragrance? So guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much. If you watched the entire thing, I know it was probably long because I can go on and on about fragrances. And we did add quite a few to the collection. Um, I'm really pleased for the most part when it comes to all of the fragrances. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
definitely comment down below. Let me know, do you have any of these fragrances? Do you want any of these fragrances? I will list all of the fragrances in the description bar for you guys as always. Oh, on my lips, I'm also going to leave it in the description bar. I always get questions about it and then I totally forget what I put on my lips, but I have my NYX Cosmetics Lip Liner in Cold Brew. I wear her all the time. And then I have my um, Velvet Glide, Velvet Lip Glide from NARS in Swing, one of my favorite nude shades. So. Thank you so much again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. Comment down below and I'll see you all on the next video. Ciao!